We will now take a look at lending through Wiscat. This is uh, taking an item from your collection and sending it to uh, another library, uh, either in the greater Wisconsin area or throughout the United States. So in order to manage lending uh, in Wiscat, we're going to first go to Staff Dashboard, as we did before. You're going to go into the Request Manager. And you're going to go into pending on the lender side. This is the lender side of the screen. Uh, this will show you how many requests you have from other libraries. So in this case, I have 14. Um, I will look at one of them. I have a test going. Um, here is a test item. So this came through. Uh, it looks like the Ettrick Public Library wants something called test item. I am going to click into it and look at it and I can pull it based off of well although there's no no call number there's usually a call number right there and from there I can go to shipped if I want to supply it if I don't want to supply it I can go to will not supply um, again don't uh, lend the item out if the item is newer than six months old or if it's part of a lucky day collection there are a number of reasons why you would would choose will not supply you can use your discretion um, okay so we're going to go to shipped and we're going to go to submit okay and then we're going to go to close we're not done yet though um, another thing that you can do if you have multiple items and you know that you're, you're, you know, going to go and you're going to pick a bunch of them, there's an option, a pick list option in the corner there that you can click on. Um, and from there you actually get a printable, um, a printable, printable list of the items. Uh, you can either, you can even sort by call number. Uh, if you wish, um, and call numbers. All right. All right. So now that we've approved the the test item, we're going to go back into staff dashboard, and we are going to go to print shipping labels. We're going to click on that. All right, and it should automatically show up there. Um, since we've we've accepted and, and we've marked that request as shipped so we're going to push the check and select it and then we're going to go to format to print all right and here are your fancy sheets so you're going to print this off and what you're going to do is you're going to fold this down the, down the middle you're going to stick the top of this the delivery portion of this out of the book uh, and you can throw it in the bins from there. Oftentimes, um, some may secure it with a rubber band. Um, talk to your director or manager for local practice. Uh, so once it's sent and checked out, um, etc., uh, the borrowing library is going to return it. So they're, they're going to use the back side of this folded sheet, and they're going to return it to you uh, using this, uh, using this portion of it. And once it's returned to you, you'll find it in your request manager. Uh, it will show up in returned. And from there, there will be an option. I can't exactly show you that right now, but there will be an option to check it in. Uh, so you can go to check it in, push submit, um, and that will clear out and the transaction is done as far as uh, Wiscat is concerned. Um, so to get all of this into Sierra, what you want to do is you want to find um, the library you're, you're checking something out to. Um, let's say we're checking something out to Eau Claire. So we'll, we'll type the we'll type N first to get us into the name index. Whenever we type an end, that tells Sierra that whatever we type following that will be a name, a patron record name. So 
So we're going to type Eau Claire, push enter. Um, and let's say it was Eau Claire Public Library that made the request. We're going to open that. And from here, we can uh, check out an item. Uh, once checked out, we were able to change the due date. Make sure the due date matches what's in WISCAT. If you find that there are fines on an institution um, patron record, you can override those. Uh, fines are dealt with uh, using a different mechanism uh, so you don't have to worry about them.